The Tennessee Titans of the NFL have existed since 1999. However, from 1960 to 1996, they were the Houston Oilers before relocating in 96 to Tennessee. So they eventually became the Tennessee Oilers. And then finally in 99, the Tennessee Titans. And that's literally about as far as my football knowledge goes. I've really tried to get into football. It just doesn't work. I've tried so hard. I really want to get excited every Sunday and Monday, sometimes Thursday, but I just can't do it. So I apologize. That's as much as I know about the Houston Oilers. Now the Spizikes, if you didn't know, came out in 2006. It was to honor Spike Lee, who played a big role in really boosting the popularity of Jordan Brand shoes. And the Spizikes are a hybrid shoe, and usually hybrid shoes from Jordan Brand pretty much like guaranteed to go straight to outlets, guaranteed to go on sale. But at one point, the Spizikes, especially when they first released, they were really coveted. It was a hybrid shoe that contained elements of the Jordan 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, and 20. And the first Spizike low came out in 2024. It was the year of the dragon Spizike lows. And I thought it was a great shoe. I really did. I really like that shoe. And it does seem like the Spizike low is a silhouette that Jordan Brand's really gonna push in 2024. We're gonna see a Jordan Spizike low bread colorway that's coming out later this year. But first, it's a tribute to the Houston Oilers football team, Jordan Spazaklo, Houston Oilers. Now this shoe dropped on February 10th for $160. One of my favorite shoes that I reviewed so far in 2024 was the Spazaklo Year of the Dragon. Really, really was very pleasantly surprised by that shoe in terms of comfort, colorway, materials. I really like that shoe. So I was pretty excited for this one. And first impressions, just in terms of the color. I love this type of blue, the shade of blue, the UNC blue is my favorite color on sneakers. Obviously this is very similar. And just looking at it, it is very different, very bold, very up there, but I do like it. I think it's sleek. I think it's got that kind of ice cold aesthetic to it. Obviously it's a Houston Oilers scheme, so they didn't have to think too much about it, but this 99% blue kind of look, I do like it. Not the most wearable, but yeah. I think it's cool, especially with the hints of red as well as the black jump man on the lace lock. And the materials on the shoe, it is entirely Nubuck. And the Nubuck on the toe box, that feels okay, but the overlays like on the mud guard as well as the mid panel area, there's something about this Nubuck where it feels cheaper and just not as nice. And you can see, maybe not in the video, but up close, I can see it like peeling already. So you see like the fluffs of the Nubuck come off. Overall, Jordan Brand never comes with like the best materials anyway, but yeah. Kind of disappointed in that. Just definitely felt better Nubuck than this shoe. Now in terms of the details on the shoe, you'll see the tongue that is directly from a Jordan 6. So that jump man in the middle with that neoprene tongue. It's from the Jordan 6. The lace lock also from the Jordan 6. I hate lace locks. I love the Jordan 5s. Like the Jordan 6, don't love him, but hate the lace locks on both. I will say the red lace locks kind of looks pretty cool with the black jump man, but it just really gets in the way. I don't love it. And the tongue itself, again, from a Jordan 6, doesn't have the two holes where you can put your fingers through like an actual Jordan 6, but the same type of idea, same type of rubber material, same Air Jordan wording and font from the Jordan 6 tongue. Now, unlike the Jordan 6 tongue where this tab, you could actually unbutton and actually pull down, you cannot, it's sewed in, so you have no choice. The netting of the shoe that is from a Jordan 5, the eyelets as well, and of course the wings that is directly from the Jordan 4, and the elephant print that you see on the heel as well as the toe box, that is obviously from the Jordan 3. And I do have to say this blue on blue elephant print looks pretty cool. And the pull tab, that is from the Jordan 9s. What's also from the Jordan 9 is this emblem that you see on the booty of the shoe. Not the same pattern, but the same type of idea on the Spizike specifically, because it is a Spike Lee and Jordan brand collaboration and Spike Lee shoe essentially. So you'll see on one shoe, it is a tribute to his production company, 40 Acres and a Mule. And on the other shoe, you'll see the very, very famous, iconic Spike Lee in that Brooklyn hat. And if you haven't felt this booty tab before, feels kind of like plastic, almost like acrylic. Got a bit of give to it, it's not entirely solid. I always like touching it, just like the lace locks. I really do not like these pull tabs on shoes. As I get older, I do find myself using them more and more. Bending over, putting on shoes, gets harder and harder as you age. But just aesthetically, I don't love them. Now, originally on the Spizikes, not the low top, but the Spizikes, it also had a tribute to the Jordan 20s with the laser print. This is the low, so no Jordan 20 presents here. Wish they did include some Jordan 20 presents because I love Jordan 20s. One of my favorite Jordan brand shoes after Jordan 14. 
I think it's probably my favorite. That and then the Jordan 23s. Really like them both. I do hope they bring back the Jordan 20s very soon. I definitely really like them. And the Spizike Low comes with a polyurethane midsole with a Nike Air unit on the heel. Obviously that's visible as well as a Nike Air unit on the forefoot that is modeled right after the Jordan 3s. And you see that rubber outsole that is directly from the Jordan 3 as well. And fun fact, this concentric pattern that is from the Nike Air Force 1s originally back in 1982. That shoe was meant for basketball players and this pattern was made so players could like pivot more easily. Back then there were a lot more post players. So pivoting and drop steps in the post was much more common. So there you go. This outsole inspired by the Air Force Ones. This shoe doesn't come with any extra laces. Maybe they're just sticking true to the colors of Houston Oilers. So I kind of get it. Or maybe they're just cheap. Probably a bit of both, but no extra laces, just blue. And I think just keeping the shoe all blue kind of makes sense. I do like how it looks. And the box of the shoe contains elements of a few different Jordan brand shoes. So the lid from the Jordan 4. The side of the box, you see the elephant print from the Jordan 3s of course. And inside, you'll see a breakdown of all the shoes, all the Jordan brand shoes that are involved with the Spazikes. 3, 4, 5, 6, and 9. Now in terms of sizing and comfort, I am a wide footer. I went true to size for these, I go true to size in Jordan 3s as well. So I go true to size in the Spazike low. But I will say, in terms of comfort, I am very disappointed. For some reason, this one, this shoe in particular, came super stiff. Super, super, super stiff. My left foot is slightly wider than my right foot. Both have wide feet, but specifically my left foot, that toe box area, it felt like a Jordan 4. And that bit is not supposed to. It's supposed to be a Jordan 3, which are one of the more comfortable Jordan shoes. The Spazike Low Year of the Dragon, I really like that shoe. That shoe was so much more comfortable. I loved wearing that shoe. The leather was super soft on that shoe. The materials are not as soft on this. Maybe I just need to give it more time to break in. I will give it the benefit of the doubt, but yeah, it's not looking good early on. That's just a word of warning. This was not very comfortable out of the box. And that brings the total sold score of the Jordan Spazike Low Houston Oilers to 25 out of 40. Pretty low score compared to other general releases. Now in terms of colorway, I think this is a very decent colorway. If you like blue, this is the one for you. Maybe a little bit too much, but I think it looks sleek. I think it's a very good winter shoe. I don't like absolutely love it, but I think it looks good. In terms of the materials, don't love the nubuck on the shoe. I think I felt better nubuck on other shoes, especially the mudguard and overlays. Yeah, just don't think it's the best. In terms of comfort, I was really expecting a very comfortable shoe, judging from my experience with the Year of the Dragon Spizai clothes. But I don't know if it's because it's slightly stiffer materials. Nubuck is just a former leather, but it does feel not as soft as the Year of the Dragons. Maybe I just need to give it time to break in, but oh, it was not comfortable out of the box. I'm not going to give it like a super low score because I'll give it the benefit of the doubt, judging from my first experience with this Bazaar Low. But yeah, for whatever reason, it just was not super comfortable. Now in terms of versatility, obviously not the most wearable shoe. The silhouette, I think it's pretty wearable. I think in terms of hybrid shoes, the Spazike Lows are probably the most wearable, or at least the best looking aesthetically. All the other Jordan brand hybrid shoes, I think just really disgusting. But the Spazikes, yeah, they're an exception. And the Spazike Lows, I don't think are as good as the mid-cut Spazikes, but it's not bad, not bad at all. I think it's pretty versatile. But the colorway, obviously super loud, super, super loud. It's right out there. You gotta be bold to wear the shoe. I don't know if I can pull it off that well, but Objectively, if there was some white or black to like break it up a bit, it would be more wearable. Some people, probably not me, can definitely pull this off pretty easily. People, especially nowadays, they really clown on hybrid shoes. But I think when you remove the fact that it's a hybrid shoe and just look at a silhouette for what it is, just in a vacuum, I really don't think you can deny the Spizike Lows are a nice looking shoe. And even though I know pretty much nothing about football, so I know nothing about the Houston Oilers or its history or the Tennessee Titans now, but I do know this is a pretty nice colorway, very different, but clean colorway on a very good looking shoe. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Soul Inclined. Let me know what you think of the Jordan Spizike Low Houston Oilers. Like, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff. And remember, tomorrow may never come to wear your shoes.